feeling pretty bad. I'm feeling like I shouldn't have taken two weeks off. So we are now 19 days out from my first ever partner competition. This is the competition that I'm probably the most excited about this year out of all the competitions that I'm gonna do or have done. 240 athletes, 120 teams, and one date, the 9th of October. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. We have 19 days, I figured it out. Really? Ooh, awkward. Oh, awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is he, is he not? Is he is not? He did in the end, but no. Then what do we have two weeks after that, hopefully? And then two weeks after that, we will have a team in the Coalition Games. So these next few months are going to be absolutely jam-packed. We have Roland and this Sunday. The following Sunday we have CrossFit Deviance competition where we're just going to go down and watch and support. Jasmine may do it. Ankle dependent. Then the following Sunday after that we'll have Rep It Out. Then the following Sunday after that we have the Rainhill Trials. And then the following Sunday after that we have the Coalition Games. Mental couple of weeks. And then the weekend after that, we have the Battle of the Beasts. We've, not, we go got, we've we not got a weekend off till November. Well, no. I'm, I mean, I'm not competing in Battle of the Beasts, but I've, we may go and spectate. The reason why I'm probably the most excited to do this competition out of any other competition this year is because I get to do it alongside Chris. Hello. He was the guy that when I first came to this box I like looked up to massively and I was like one day I want to be on this level. I'm chasing him and he gives me something every day to like chase after but it's just going to be cool because he's just going to carry, carry me through most workouts I hope. Maybe. <laughs> a bit like the Brownlee Brothers video, that was one of the coolest sporting moments I've seen in a very long time. It's always promising when uh, Chris writes VOM at the end of the workout. What the workout is, is in a team of two, 500 double unders, 100 calorie row, 80 pull ups, 60 clean and jerk, 40 handstand push ups, and then 20 bar facing burpees for time. Break it up however you want. I might just join in when you start rowing and just halve everything. Because I can he jump. <laughs> can he jump? Can he jump? First workout of this series. Let's do it. My friends always feel the need to tell me things Seems like they're just happier than us these days These days I don't know how to talk to you I don't know how to be there when you need me It feels like the only time you see me Oh no! First session back this always happens Oh man 14 days in America eating food. America, you have killed this man. Let's go. Okay. It's when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently. And last night, I think I lost my patience. Last night, I got high as the expectations. Last night, I came to a realization This is for when I saved you in that workout. <laughs> I think I programmed it myself, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Might just go to sleep. You actually look really comfortable. It's really comfy. <laughs> I wish it wasn't, but it's really comfy. A couple of positives to come out of that workout. This bulldog rope. They sent me it a while ago and I haven't done double unders in a very long time and this just felt like it had a load of whip and it was super fast and the 
the double unders felt super efficient. Number two, take in Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, hitting kind of recovery workout Saturday, and then Sunday and Monday off to then hit this workout on Tuesday. I felt awesome during that workout. It killed me, but it felt awesome. And three, I just love being back at the box. Like this is my home and when I'm away for a long period of time, I miss the place. A couple of negatives to come out of it was Chris is kind of unfair at the moment. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and the other negative is now we only have 18 days after the session. We're gonna peak <laughs> at the right time. Start from the bottom, peak in 18 days. Watch your space. Team Faber Tooth Tigers. <laughs> It's a good name. That it's was good, what, that, that was a name from uh, one of our subscribers. Shout out to Liam Paul. How do you feel? All right, I got the worst stitch. It literally felt like my right lung was trying to get out of my chest doing the pull-ups. But my handstand push-ups were good, and my one-legged rowing is on point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty similar. Finished off tonight, we just kind of have some technique work. So we got 60 kg and we just went 20 snatches just at, the own pace, at my own pace, sitting at the bottom, getting a nice pause. Because for me, I, I really struggle in kind of the bottom position and you can never get too much technique work in. So uh, I felt good and that just felt enough. I felt good tonight. I feel like the week has like propelled me forward and I feel awesome. I could have done more. And I was like, no, because you need to be careful sometimes that, you know, when you feel fresh, you don't just hammer it. And then two days later, you're in bits again. Not sure how I ripped my thumb open though. I think it was the hook grip. Are you ready to rock and roll? Yep, I vlogged my workout tonight. You did? Yeah. Nice. Um, but I won't be able to tell you what it is because when I, I had in my head what I was going to say when you go through the board and the workout, but then I turned the camera to the board and I just froze. So I just went like this. <laughs> you always lock me out. Oh, sorry. Why does your car smell of donuts? Oh my God, I don't know, but it actually does. It smells like sweet, jam sweet donuts. Krispy Kreme? No, not Krispy Kreme. It smells like a, just a standard just jam a, donut. I don't know, but it's delightful. I still am in a massive Sam Hunt phase. His music, along with Darius Rucker's, just phenomenal. Now we're at a place called The Hungry Horse. It's just like a pub down the road from me. I just wanted to get a lime and soda. So. But only because of the iron content. We'll be at the box tomorrow. What car? Are you doing? Oh, you're doing. What are you doing? Yeah, Adam. Adam. We're home, we're just gonna finish the night with some oats and whey before we go to bed, but today was just a great start, like I felt awesome, I felt kind of sorry for Chris, but um, he'll get back up and running in no time. The first session is always the hardest back. The one thing that I always live by and the one thing that I always stand by in life is just not being afraid to fail. We're gonna hit these next 18 days as hard as we can and then just walk in to rep it out and just give it our all. We qualified in like 56th, which is like way down the pack, but um, let's just see what the competition brings in these next three weeks brings. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this first episode. Like, I am actually really enjoying editing it. I've just come home and I've sat down and done a bit of editing, it's now half 11. Hit that like button if you're excited for the rest of the series. And on that note, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. 
Wait, so at, oh. the moment, at, the moment, I'm, at the moment it's 2 1, isn't it? To me. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You've got video footage of this? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Yeah, you're my bad, Shooker. 2 2. 2 2. See you there, Kieran. See you tomorrow. Peace.